For this show, intelligibility is really key because if you listen to Jackie Little Pill, the lyrics are so incredible and so important. My name is uh, Jonathan Deans and I'm a sound designer. The Shaw Axion Wireless is so clear, it, it is so precise, it is not compressed. It feels like the microphones are wired. So to have something that is so clean and so precise, it's a problem. <laughs> because now we've got it. And it's like, okay, so what do we do? Okay, we will compress it. But the great thing is we can choose who, where, how much, when. The difference in mixing with these packs is the huge part is that it's way more responsive, which is a dream. My name's Mike Tracy. Uh, I'm the uh, production mixer on Jagged Little Pill. So we're, we're running 40 channels of wireless. I can, confidently say over the past few shows this is the least amount of wireless problems i've had by a lot trying to squeeze in uh, 40 channels within the available bandwidth we have these days is a challenge um, what axiant digital helps with is that you can put the channel so close together without any interference i'm uh, brian atterbury i work as the assistant sound manager at the american repertory theater another thing that's been great if you have an issue you need to change the sensitivity or the gain on a pack, you can do it without chasing down an actor and pulling it off them. My name is Allison Schaefer. I am an A2. Uh, I specifically focus on micing up, you know, approximately half of the actors. And then I also am backstage on one side of the stage um, monitoring using wireless workbench. You end up pinging back and forth between responsibilities a lot of the time. Uh, so when I am monitoring things on the computer using Workbench, it is nice to be able to see everything all at once. Additionally, what's really cool is you can actually get the batteries themselves or their chargers to show up in Workbench so that we can monitor. So especially on something like a two-show day where you've got multiple sets, especially in a larger cast like we have, you can absolutely be sure that your batteries are charged and good and ready to go for the second performance. My name is Sam Lerner. I am the head of sound for the American Repertory Theater here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So using Workbench and having everything networked in the way that the new Axiant line allows you to really has been advantageous for predicting any potential issues and preventing them from happening ahead of time. The body pack I really like, especially because of the internal antennas, it's one less external point of failure because in this show we do have a ton of movement, people jumping all over the place, um, moving like crazy, and the less that can get jumbled around and messed with during all the costume changes and all the jumping and all the dancing uh, has really been beneficial. You know, it's, it's an extreme thing that gets put onto these uh, transmitters. When you're wearing uh, a transmitter and you're a dancer and you're rolling around the stage, being small, being round, not getting too hot after a period of so many hours, it's something that people don't have to think about. It's me not thinking about how it sounds because it's just how it should sound. And the actor's not thinking about a box sticking into them or how do I do this? The fact is that the product itself is a clear demonstration that Sure has been spending a lot of time researching and listening to its clients and its end users, especially people like me in the Broadway market. And it feels good as somebody who uses a lot of wireless to feel that a manufacturer is really interested in that feedback and has responded to it.